Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this surgery. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. There is some floppiness of the iris in this case. This is the main wound being made with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea for better visibility. A side port is made on the left side of the main wound about 3 clock hours away. Now capsulorexis is done. With the help of a uh, uterator of horses and adequate sized rexis is done. The size of this rexis is about 5.25 millimeter. And now hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is done with BSS using a 27 gauze cannula. And see the pupil is constricting and dilating. So there is some floppiness of the iris. In these cases, whenever there is floppy iris, I prefer to use my pre-chopper. The pre-chopper designed by me. And this is the nuclear sustainer. It hooks the equator and gives support while this pre-chopper or nucleus cutter goes forward. Counter force is applied by the nucleus manipulator. So we have divided the nucleus into two halves and now again the antechamber is filled up with visco. And now the handpiece goes with pebble down, some superficial lens matter is removed and the hemineucleus is chopped. This is horizontal chop where you bury the tip of the handpiece and the nucleus sustainer hooks the equator, it comes towards the tip and the nucleus is crushed between the two instruments. Almost done, this is the last nuclear piece and see the epinuclear shell. It is protecting the posterior capsule. Once the epinucleus is removed, please come out and remove the cortex with safer instruments like bimanual or coaxial IA. This may not be safer in many people's hand. So the cortex also is removed by the handpiece and see the you know, iris is getting incarcerated in the wounds, both the main wound and the side wound. This means there is floppiness of the iris. The bag is filled up with visco and now a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. This is a C cartridge and we need not enlarge the main wound when we use this cartridge.
both the haptics have gone into the capsular bag the nucleus is styled the haptics are placed 90 degree away from the main wound so that the irrigating instrument can easily go behind the lens when viscoelastic substance is used for implantation of the intraocular lens it is important that we go behind the intraocular lens and clean the visco between the lens and the posterior capsule unless this is done the patient will have a raised intraocular pressure in the postoperative period so i go behind the i will both with simco as well as with uh, irrigation aspiration cannuli so here goes the bimanual irrigation aspiration irrigation goes through the main port aspiration through the side port irrigation aspiration now the irrigating cannula goes behind the lens skips irrigating aspiration is above the lens that is in front of the lens and now watch as i come out after a thorough cleaning iris gets incarcerated in the main wound and in floppy iris always check that no part of the iris gets incarcerated at the main wound or at the side port at the conclusion of the surgery it is very important i have seen many eyes where uh, part of the iris is incarcerated in the wound and this should not be our practice and now we are towards the end of the surgery the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration and after that a thorough lavage of the anterior chamber is done i prefer to give this nice lavage at the end of the surgery and clear fluid should be there everything should be clean at the end of the surgery in the anterior chamber wait surgery is not yet over we have to check the wounds with cotton tipped jensen bard apply few drops of moxifloxacin over the ocular surface and then conclude the case thank you very much for your attention hope this video will give you some tips teach you some tricks to perform better i wish you be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence